welcome to episode two. Here we are, winging it again. Basically just going to run through a few little bits that have cropped up since doing the first vlog. Uh, a few few people have uh, messaged in with queries and things like that and, and wondering why we're doing things the way that we are. So basically we've we've got the parts that we uh, we ran through in the first vlog and pretty much we're, uh, we're going to run with those. Um, a few people have suggested why we're actually using the gearbox, why we're not just going either direct drive or making a belt system or cog system. In essence, we, we felt we'd got the gearbox, it works, it's tried and tested technology. We might find in the longer term we do need a different solution, but for now, we're going to run with the gearbox. Um, any other option means sort of starting to make more parts or buy more parts, and like we said, that's, that's not the idea. Tight Yorkshireman, use what I've got, stick with the things that we know. The main bit we have got is the bit where we've got to join the motor to the gearbox using those two splines again that I mentioned in the first vlog. Um, again a few ideas have cropped up with that. Uh, what I will say is the spline on the motor is 29 30 seconds of an inch and it's a 21 spline uh, cog. If anyone happens to know anything that that might fit similar sort of system that uses that a few little google searches have shown me it's perhaps the same size as an early toyota um, gearbox so there's a chance of maybe getting a clutch from that so again if you've if you've any ideas please pop them in the comments like i say we're needing some way of joining that in the last week or so i have been speaking to uh, steve at south yorkshire tiller pins who's done me a fantastic tiller pin that you'll see a little bit later in the video thank you very much steve He's going to pop along and have a look uh, when he can do, see if he can come up with any ideas that he can uh, maybe make up in his workshop. So we'll see if Steve comes up with anything, like I said, South Yorkshire Tiller Pins. Other than that though, like I said, please do uh, send us any ideas that you've got. Um, and we are running it through the gearbox rather than having the motor just going forwards and backwards. We decided that was the easier way of a control system being made. Again, that was one of the bits I was having to pay for, so the more simple that was. The cheaper that we're going to be so that's kind of the thinking on that again we'll see as the project progresses if that was the right or wrong decision and whether we perhaps even need to have that changed or whatever but as I said for now it's going to be motor through the gearbox out to the prop you will say i'm trying to keep the videos a bit light art i don't want to get bogged down in too many technical terms and things obviously i'm trying to sort of strike a balance of putting across what we're doing and not just boring everybody by reeling off dozens of numbers and things like that so uh, if you've got any specific technical questions that we've not covered yet drop them in the comments and we'll try and cover them in the next videos we will be as we start putting the system together getting a bit more technical going into the technicalities of the system but for now i'm just trying to keep it basic sort of show the way that it's going to be uh, going to all be working um, the bits that you'll see i'm going to run a little video in a second that shows kind of basically where we are now the things that we've done what we've We've sort of tidied the, the bottom of the boat out, given that a, a sort of a bit of a paint up ready for the, the things going in. Uh, we're going to make the frame up that the engine and uh, sorry, the motor is going to sit on to join it to the gearbox. Bits and bobs like that I'm not going to do in too much detail because at the end of the day they're not the electric drive. That's just standard boring stuff that we've got to do to get it all to fit. So this video is just kind of getting us fingers crossed to the point where we can start on the more technical stuff of installing the actual electrics etc do bear with me as well because obviously i'm not doing this full time this is just a hobby so um it is going to be over the space of a few weeks that it's all going to come together obviously it is finding the time and also the time of other people such as simon who's helping out doing it all he's the the technical whiz if you like it's uh, obviously getting time when we're when we're both available so it's not just going to be a, in a few days time it's it's going to take over a, a week or two one other thing that did crop up on the videos, uh, the video from before, was the charging system. A few people were querying how we would charge it. So the basic idea is when we're in the moor and it will just have a standard 240 volt um, balance charger, I believe it is, so all the batteries are charged to the, to the same sort of uh, charge in them. We are going to look at possibly trying to get it solar charging as well, and there's various debates have, have cropped up about whether that will or won't be successful. Clearly we're in England, it's not sunny every day there's going to be a lot of batteries it's obviously not going to be a system that would charge up in a day to give a full day's charge a full day's running the following day 
But even as say a constant cruiser, you're perhaps only cruising every three or four days anyway, or every week or two. So it's gonna be something we're gonna look at. And to be honest, I'm not gonna try and do too many technical calculations as to how it's gonna work. We are after all winging it. So we'll just see how it all progresses. When we get to that stage, we'll try a couple of solar panels and controllers, etc. see what we can do with it. The one problem I have potentially got with that is obviously my boat's only 36 foot long. By the time you take into account the bow and the stern and things like the hatch and stuff like that and where there's mushrooms, there's not a vast space on the roof for solar panels. Uh, we've got a couple already that charge the leisure batteries. So we are perhaps going to be a bit limited with what solar panels we can use. Um, but we're going to have a look, maybe even come up with an idea of if we're moored up, can we have a, a separate solar bank that we can put on the side of the cup? I don't know, obviously some areas there's no space really at the side of the cup for that. Other areas there might be. It's potentially an idea of extending the, the amount of solar that we, we've got on there. But again, that's further down the line. Let's get the system up and running. Let's see that prop turning and that, that boat moving down the waterway. So like I said, for this video now, we'll, uh, we'll show you a few bits of what we've done just to catch up on where we are and uh, maybe then have a look at what fingers crossed we'll be in the next vlog. And in between times, we'll carry on winging it.
think that little snippet there just shows you that we've uh, we're kind of cracking on with a little bit so all the all the boring stuff getting it ready so that we can start installing all the electrics and everything like that one thing i must say is a massive thank you to my mate james when i decided to do this vlog i uh, said to him james you're a bit of a musician any chance you can knock us up a little tune i can play in the background obviously we need copyright free music and all that and that tune's what he came up with absolutely fantastic played on his ukulele he's recorded it for me along with his friend kathy well do is i'll get them to drop their link in the comments below just to their pages for their music because they are fantastically uh, they've got some some fantastic music on there so uh, have a look at their music one thing i've got to do before we finish this video is everyone says if you're doing a vlog on an arabout you've got to do one thing so bear with me for the next 55 seconds because we've got this little bit to put in right welcome to the cooking slot apparently every vlog has to have how you cook on an arabout so i don't want to feel left out let's do it chicken 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 oh and chicken let's have a little bit of sauce in there mm -hmm. lovely oh and some spices and we'll stick the lid on and turn it on and that is your cooking slot let's forget about that kind of stuff crack on with electric motor right i think that brings us to the end of this video episode two obviously this one was just a bit of a catch up really see where we got to um, in the initial stages just getting the first bits kind of made up uh, like i said we're now on we're making up things like the uh, the motor frame and places where the batteries and things can go so hopefully once we've got those done we'll be able to come back to you with the uh, with the next vlog that should start including things of uh, the exciting stuff or the better stuff fitting all the technical gear we'll obviously be run, starting to run through uh, how all that works or hopefully how it all works what the various bits are we'll have a little chat to simon on that one about some of the, the technical aspects as well you know the, the sort of size of the motor things like that but like i say a lot of this stuff we are just winging it we're making it up as we go along we've got the bits we're going to see how they fit together and um, do remember as well we are putting these vlogs on live kind of as we do them so it might be a week or two now before we get a chance to uh, to get some more work done so bear with us we will update you as soon as we can thanks very much for watching we'll see you again next time and carry on winging it I found my